Hey guys, Weather Expert here, bringing you guys an awesome video on a brand new winter forecast. Um, this is gonna be a pretty long video. I'm gonna clear up some stuff and clear up what's fact and what is crap. What's the crap that people are talking about? Now I'm gonna be talking about. So let's start out with our sea surface temperature anomaly, the seven day change. This is a perfect map for what I'm gonna be showing you. All right, guys. So well, I'm, I'm always looking at Nino's regions one and two, which is right here. And it's there's kind of going back and forth. I mean, they're starting to warm, they're starting to cool, so they're doing this cycle. But if it continues to cool, then that's probably going to cause these cool the waters over here to cool down. And when you get waters to cool down over here, guess what? The cool, stable air will make a ridge build north. When the ridge goes over, guess what happens? You get troughiness in the east. And what and what's a better combination than negative NaO and a positive PNA? There's nothing. Sear Antarctic and negative AO. If you get that, you get some arctic i mean some brutal cold temperatures i mean if you get that set up but right now i'm looking at over here right now there's still warming going on but right now we're starting to see some progressively cooler temperatures starting to build north and there's some cooler temperature anomalies and the, the colder they get the more chance they're going to get a colder than average season now for snow wise we're still going to have this el nino to pull up and we had a weak el nino last year and i'm going to tell you something it was a brutal one across the east and the El Nino is kind of not really strengthening, not really weakening, kind of staying still. But I expect it to weaken, you know, in you know the near term. I don't, I don't expect some slow weakening, then a rapid weakening as we get towards the later half of uh, winter. But let's look at uh, let's look at the um, let's look at Greenland. This is the this is one of the driving forces of our winters, guys, right here. So you guys can see some over by the east coast. These waters are really important, not just for nor'easters. They're really um, important for developing a negative NAO. If you get a warm, cold, warm pattern over here, you can get a negative NAO. And that's what's showing up right here. You can see some warm temperatures over here, the temperatures, the sea surface temperature anomaly so far. It's warmer than average, colder than average, and warmer than average over here. Kind of some cooler anomalies happening, but really it's relatively warm than average. When you get that, you can get a high pressure, and that's called the Greenland blocking. If you get a positive PNA, a ridge will come down, a trough will come down, a trough will come down, and then we'll get a ridge building in the Greenland. So this could be a brutal second half of winter, like February brutal. I mean, last year, not snow wise of last year, but I don't give a crap what you're saying about it's El Nino. This is going to be mild region. I'm not going off that. It's going to be wet, and with this setup, you can get some pretty cold. And guess what? What does cold and moisture do? Boom, it sets up the stage for snow. And I'm going to be looking at the strain. So we're going to be going to my favorite thing to do is looking at the PNA off Google. I'm sorry if there's pixels. This is the best of positive and negative. So in this instance, you want positive instead of negative. Because if you get a positive PNA, you get the colder temperature anomalies can develop an area of high pressure, some stable air. You can get the jet stream to go up, and then what must come up must come down. It starts to um, dip. And when you have a Greenland blocking over here, this thing is going to be a sharp trough with cold air coming down from Canada, and it's just going to come up. So that's what you want. You don't want anything else. And now on the other hand, a negative PNA is also possible. If the temperatures continue to warm, we could see um, it kind of build a little bit more westward. But right now, um, right now, it's kind of going towards the coast right now. This is what I like seeing. I'm, I'm going to go back to this right now. I'm going to look at this. See, if the high pressure develops nearer the coast, the more troughiness we're going to get. The further away, see, this is like area of um, warm waters. High pressures don't just, high pressures really, they, they're, they build over stable air. So, you know, this is, me this is meant for prime time of Pineapple Express kind of thing. So if you get that, then the high pressure might build closer to the coast, closer to the coast, the more troughiness you're going to get in the east, and that's what results in that. And you can see that if the trough is not too sharp, if it's too far away, you're going to get high pressure to build over here, and boom, it's just going to just, seriously, it's just not going to do good for snowstorms. It's really going to keep the air mass stable, but I do think that there is about a 65% a chance of a positive, a 35% a of the negative right now, just because of the sea surface temperatures right now. Now, this won't, this will be good for Southern California if the positive PNA, but it'll be bad for Northern, because all the focus will be over here with the cold, low pressure system, so right over here and northeast, infra brutal. And I can see some storms going up here. So you know, Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, you might not be out of the woods. Um, I'm really watching every single piece of uh, th stuff they have. So let's go to my winter outlook that I recently released, not too long ago. 
So what am I looking at? I'm looking at the factors of the average, kind of. I'm looking at warmer and drier conditions over the west. Even though it's pretty warm and even though it's pretty cooler and wetter, that might, that's not going to stick around because of the high pressure that's probably going to build. That's why people are saying it's going to be dry. It's just because the high pressure is going to build near the coast, and then that's why people are going around with um, snow. And then that mine's no different. See, the thing is, um, if you go over here, it'll be warmer and wet still, slightly warmer and wet over here, and then you get cool and wet over here. Some there's a potential in this red area for some pretty for snowstorms, ice storms, severe thunderstorms. There's a lot of winter battle zone stuff. Um, you know, I could extend this even more. It just depends on the, how sharp this is. And this big circle map is where this big circle is the area that you need to watch for negative NAOs. Because this thing can dig down. You get a storm system over here. If it's not sharp enough like that, you can get a storm system going right up here. You can get a ground. You can get a huge blizzard over here. Otherwise, it can be a nor'easter and mixing events. Just because of, just because right now I'm just looking at warmer than. Warmer than average might kind of limit the temperature anomalies over here, but I might I'm probably gonna extend it to the um, more snow because right now my final one will be released in exactly one month from now. So stay tuned to my Twitter page at Expert Weather, and as we get over here, it'll still be dry, but I think you guys can get some snow events over here. And then we go to the next graphic, and this is more pointing out. You see these warm waters, cold, warm. That's a negative NAO sign, not a positive. Positive. We've seen sometimes positives can actually aid in snow, but right now I'm seeing a negative NAO, which could point to a colder and brutal winter. Right now I am. And then we go to this. This one is what's going to set the stage for our moisture. Our moisture content, moisture everything. See this red circle area? Yeah, see this? It's coming out of the Nino regions, and that's what you need to call a pineapple express. It's a big moisture chain that usually comes from the Hawaiian Islands and stretches over the west. And these storm systems come out of here and just launch off, provide a lot of moisture, organize over here, can take off west to east, and you can get some pretty good snowstorms over in the eastern regions. So that's why I think, I'm thinking it's going to be pretty much above normal snow over here. I guarantee it's going to be above normal right now. I'm uh, about a 85% chance right now. Not 100, not 95, not 90, 85% chance that it's going to happen. But right now you guys can see some pretty dry, you know, area high pressure right here. It's going to cause a lot of these resistance, it's the it's the clockwise flow is going to pour that moisture in, and that's what's going to set the stage for California right around here. You know, it's going to be pretty much above normal. But yeah, guys, it's, um, I I don't know. It's just kind of it's kind of just it's just weird to me how weird it's been this whole winter, not the whole winter, this whole fall. It's been so controversy over warm, warm, mild, cold and snowy. I don't care what you say about if it's a strong El Nino, this is, no, no, let's go back, let's go to the strong El Nino, let's go right here, I'm going to go to strong El Nino, winter, this is a word that I just do not like, do not pay it, I don't even know how to spell it, oh, let's go put climate, I'm just going to go to Google Images, and I'm going to go see what it's saying, now this is kind of, um, AccuWeathers is a perfect one, this is what I do not like. I do not like when people say, climatologically, this is going to be a mild winter. Now, I do think that over here it's going to be mild, but over here is a big controversy. They don't even have, they have the northern branch. This is only in a chance of, uh, really, if, if the high pressure builds over here. I don't care what you're saying. I know it's going to be wet over here. I know it's going to be wet over here, snowy over here too. But over here, I, I do agree partly with this map. This part of the region is going to be mild. I do agree with that because storms are going to be focused on the south probably from the Nino regions. Storms are going to be coming out of that moisture. Bam, you're going to get some pretty good snowstorms. And let's go to another map. I think I saw one. Um, not this one. Um, wait, what's it? Yeah, this is a perfect one. This is what the this is what act not not no I'm not gonna pull no on this one they they actually aren't doing too bad this is another one this is El Nino um if you get a weak El Nino developing this is a complete turnaround I mean I've seen winters that are extremely brutal last year was brutal for me didn't get like didn't get a ton of ton of snow but I did get a lot of um a lot of stuff so let's see right here a week to my El Nino guess what happens. You focus your snow up north, mild comes down, you get some cold shots coming in. I think they should extend this because I remember last year that I got this same thing. 
I got a ton of snow too. I got about 30 inches of snow. So yeah, this is a pretty much if this I'm thinking it's gonna weaken to a mile El Nino. I'm just thinking that right now. It's gonna weaken to a mile El Nino. I completely agree with um if you got if you go on Twitter, I'm gonna go on Twitter right now. I gotta shout out some of these people. Some of these people are just completely awesome. I'm gonna go on Twitter right now and of course I have to have my Christmas, you know, profile picture and there's been a lot. So I'm gonna go right to my Favorite meteorologist right now, Northeast Weather Authority. He's one. Of, uh, I think he's one of the best per person people locally. And this, look at this. Look at look at all the analysis he has to this winter. He is doing a pretty good job. And I've seen and a lot of his tweets. Yeah, right here. A lot of energy. A lot of your energy this winter will come from here. Yeah, give or take January. Right here. See all this energy right here. It's gonna come north. And guess what? You gonna need. You get a northeaster over here. Winter, my oh, this is gonna be awesome. I got a favorite that. But yeah, guys, that's really gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, I just want to clear some things out, give my take. And Northeast Weather Authority, he's in. I think I'm in pretty good agreement with him. We'll gain a pretty brutal winter for the um for the Northeast. But yeah.